Hey guys, so a quick midweek recap. So, had bench and press on Monday as usual. Worked up to a couple of top singles at 162.5. My shoulder was going really well. Doing these paused, moved very, very easily. Um, following that, did drop sets on 140 for just sets of three. Now, I am doing, so this is what I'm doing each week at the moment. I'm separating it a little bit by having one week as top doubles with drop down sets of five reps and then I'm doing the other week with top singles with drop down sets of three reps. Now this just gives me a bit of variation and allows me to load up my technique and not only that my CNS a bit quicker while also still giving me a bit of volume to recondition after having surgery about 11 to 12 weeks ago. My core is improving as time goes on. I haven't had any major problems with it other than what is a disparity on the right hand side of my abdominal wall. Now it does feel not like it's in pain. I can just feel the difference going into movements, the tension and how much pressure I can put through it compared to the left side, which did not have surgery on it. In saying that it's nothing too big. I am able to slowly increase each week and it is getting less and less noticeable as time goes on. So I am happy with that because I have been doing my rehab for it. So this was the first session this week where I've increased weights. So last week was my starting week. I've increased this week, did squats, beltless and sleeveless. I had my sleeves on, but just to keep my knees warm. And I did try one quick set with them, um, that and a belt. But it didn't, it felt a lot better, but I wanted to keep with beltless and sleeveless just to build up that core stability and strength. So with this, I have been improving my knee mobility um, and it's low that it can handle. I am hoping to finish this block around 200 kilos without sleeves and a belt. If I can do that, I know that I'll then be able to comfortably move up my squat without any worry of my old knee injuries, arthritis, or any past surgeries flaring up and causing any issues in the long run. Now, I also got to work on leg press, a couple of other things that I haven't been able to do for a while. So I am looking forward to being able to compete in April where I'll be doing a sleeve competition I won't be going maximal effort. I'll be going to where I feel comfortable, where my core feels comfortable and so on. Now, my goals for the end of the year, I have a rough idea depending on how this rehab still goes, but I'm wanting mid, mid eights to low nines for my total, then to slowly progress to a thousand kilo total and hopefully a mid 400 kilo deadlift. I'll be doing some strongman to try and attempt something that heavy. I am not sure when I will be, I just want to see how that goes in the long run. My deadlifts are moving fine so far. My proper, my primary days and my working days during the week, they have moved up. I'm over 300 kilos. Um, for the fun session that I do on Saturdays once a week where I do a bit of work on a lift or I try to see how max, somewhat maximal or even like 70% pulls feel. Um, I did 320, so just over 700 pounds. So. I will be hoping to slowly lift and increase that, but that's only a fortnightly thing. The main working weights are a little bit lower, not much, but just enough that the progress still will be seen and they won't be as high as those weekends as that is just generally, generally just a testing day or a technique working day. Anyway, if you guys got any questions, please leave them below. Like, comment, and subscribe to follow me on this journey. Hopefully at Worlds at the end of this year. See you guys next time.